Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to CHI, your host, Odysseus. Now, when I heard that one of the biggest movies of the year was going to feature dinosaurs, I absolutely had to check it out. And what I found is absolute proof that Hollywood does not care about science! Are you trying to tell me that the comet that killed off the dinosaurs didn't kill off the dinosaurs? Well, that explains why they're alive today! If dinosaurs didn't die off, then there would be no humans, you silly filmmakers! And what is this? Why does this horribly rendered sauropod have its eyes on the front of its skull? The eyes should be on the side of the skull. And was that a human-like scream? I'll have you know that dinosaurs do not have human-like screams. And further proof that Hollywood doesn't care, a human living amongst dinosaurs. I expect that over some schlocky, pornographic trash, not of today's golden age of cinema. And what kind of kindness can dinosaurs show to humans? Unless not existing today counts as a kindness. So apparently Littlefoot's family and friends were killed and he's wandering in the wilderness alone. Makes the most sense to me, other than the fact that Littlefoot was obviously a better representation of a sauropod. And is that grass on the ground? Just goes to show how little foresight people today have. Living in a world without grass, it makes no sense to them. But it did to dinosaurs, obviously the superior beings for living in a land that didn't have grass. Oh, and there's also large beasts like bison. It's a well-known fact that a T-Rex could eat 12 cows as a single meal. So I imagine that these bison are quite rare, or don't exist. Another inaccuracy, dinosaurs would never let such riffraff as small mammals on them. They would only allow flying reptiles to clean some of the gnats and insects that would latch onto their bodies. Once again, people that don't understand that fireflies probably did not exist in the time of the dinosaurs. Neither did mosquitoes. Well, at least in the Carboniferous, but maybe in the time of the dinosaurs. As much as Jurassic Park wants you to believe. My god, the inaccuracies. Somehow surviving a fall like that, and a snake with arms. These people don't even understand the real world. How can you expect them to make a film? Well, have fun getting eaten, human boy, who should not exist. All the more inaccurate, the sauropod has human-like teeth when he should have peg teeth, easier to pull on ferns. Ugh, oh, the inaccuracies. Ugh, oh, they're so painful. A T-Rex among bison. It was not the white man that killed off the American buffalo. It was the T-Rex. Which is what this movie wants you to believe. I can make a top 10 out of all the inaccuracies going on here, such as the pterosaurs having teeth, and they're obviously going to say something about how they're also dinosaurs when they obviously aren't. Disney, Pixar, you should be dragged out onto the street and shot for all the crimes you committed in this film. And how exactly is the dinosaur supposed to be good when it obviously based itself off of instinct? Do not believe this film's lies. Come to the good side, the side of science. Just goes to show what a group of creationists would create. Oh, and on Thanksgiving, is that Canadian or American movie? I am shocked. I am appalled. I cannot allow such travesties to befall such a beautiful public. I demand that this be removed from all theaters and that the Wakiwa Dinosaur documentary be played in its stead. Maybe then we'll finally learn the truth that Hollywood hides from us. Yeah, it looks cute. I'm sure the kids will love it.